Well, part of how Bruno survived is because of blood donations from other dogs when he needed it most. But what does it take to be a doggy donor? Well, CBS 2's Lisa Siegel has the story of Dozer and her owner, Kylie, both lifesavers. Dozer, she is my baby. Oh, you happy baby. She is absolutely the love of my life outside of my children. For Kylie Ibarra, there's no dog more special than her best friend, Dozer. Mm, thank you. They're inseparable. Thank you, baby. And they share a unique bond. Good girl. Good girl. Several good times girl. a year, Dozer gives blood at one hospital. How we doing? While Kylie does the same for the Red Cross. <laughs> Dozer's work as a doggy blood donor started seven years ago. Kylie was working at a Ventura pet hospital and learned of a Labrador who desperately needed a blood donor. I talked to the internist that kind of oversaw the donation program and said, hey, I've got a dog. I would be happy to have her be a donor. Dozer passed all the screenings, went on to give blood, and became a lifesaver. I walked up to mom and dad and I said, hi, you've got a little bit of Dozer with you now. And they just fell apart. Blood is a gift of life. You know, it's, it is essential across the board. It's, it's critical and it's, it's really, it's a gift. To be a blood donor, a dog needs to be healthy, vaccinated, and weigh at least 50 pounds. They also need to meet certain blood type criteria to be a universal donor, just like Dozer. Here in the refrigerator. Blood is collected at specialty vet clinics all across the country. First, a mild sedative. Then, a small spot is shaved where the blood will be drawn. And it's all done in about 10 to 30 minutes. The whole time the dog is surrounded by tight hugs and lots of love and care. Um, she uh, wouldn't have lived through that weekend. Sharon Shirk's dog Chai is alive because of blood donations from dogs like Dozer. Chai is battling leukemia and often needs transfusions. I'm forever grateful to everyone who does it. And just one donation from Dozer can save the lives of four dogs. We spend so much time throughout our lives explaining and excusing why we can't, why we shouldn't, all of that, instead of just saying why not. It's an hour's worth of your time and you're over and done and you help someone. You do, baby. In Ventura, I'm Lisa Siegel, CBS 2 News. Are you still smiling? <laughs> well, doctors at the Veterinary Medical and Surgical Group in Ventura tell us if you'd like your dog to be a donor, just check in with your local vet to see if there's a need and if your dog qualifies like Dozer did. Mm.